So I just cut open this old valve and I was using it for this diameter that I needed. And if you look in here, it is actually filled with sodium, which is pretty cool. I'm, I've never actually seen a sodium filled valve before, but that's pretty cool. See, if you look at it now, you can see it's oxidizing with the air and that's why it has that bubbling to it. <laughs> you have to be careful with this sodium. If this comes in contact with water, this becomes really unstable and it'll just explode. It's really not fun. So if you want to do that, it has to be in a controlled environment. You don't want to accidentally drop this in the sink or throw it in your kitchen sink thinking it would be cool to see it explode. We're going to go ahead and fill this tray up with some water. So the setup we have here is we have a nice long 10 foot gutter and then we have the camera set up behind a piece of polycarbonate so we can get a good shot without having to worry about the camera being damaged. So what we're gonna do is take this gutter, put it right by the water bin here, and then from 10 feet away, we can drop it and then go roll down and then we can go from there. So what I'm gonna do is just take the pieces here and then I can slide them down the gutter into the bucket of water from a far distance away. So it seems like the reaction ended. It wasn't very climatic. I'm guessing that was probably because we didn't have much surface area on the valve stems, but we still kind of are being careful because we don't want this to explode. So we have this piece of uh, polycarbonate still over and I'm it. just gonna dump the water out. Here's an old exhaust valve from an old Chrysler minivan. Let's see what's inside of this one. You can see that this valve does not have any sodium in the center. Here's an intake valve from a 2.0T Audi. So I'm gonna to try to cut this and see if this has anything in it. Now you can see right here, this valve did burn through. So if there was sodium in it, it didn't do a very good job. There's definitely sodium in this valve. See, if you didn't know that there was the sodium in here and you dunked it in a bottle of water <laughs> to cool it off, that would not end very well. We're gonna grind this down a little bit more just to get more surface area on that sodium. It doesn't look like it's going really much farther down into the face and it's gonna mushroom and fan out. So we're just gonna make a slot kind of going through just to give us more surface area. So I have this almost cut all the way through. What we're gonna do is then bend it in half and just see as much surface area we can get and how much sodium is actually in there. So with this cut in half, we can see where that sodium is on this side and you can see it stops right here. It doesn't flare out into the tip. It's just on the valve stem. You can actually see on this uh, valve stem, this is the one that we threw in the water that had that kind of cool reaction. We can put the drill bit in and just feel how deep it goes. And right there, that's as far down as the drill bit will go. So that's as far down as the sodium goes. The reason why they fill the stem with uh, sodium is just so whenever the valve face here gets really hot, especially on exhaust valves. What it does is it melts the sodium. And then whenever that sodium melts and it's sloshing around, the goal and the reason why the valve stem is hollow is so it's transferring as much heat away from the face and into the stem. The stem is cooled by the water-cooled head, or not water-cooled, liquid-cooled 
head, it's being cooled by oil, the face of the valve itself isn't able to really get any cooling, especially on exhaust valves because the hot air is always surrounding it, where on an intake, cool air is always passing by it. Some of these pieces here still have some sodium in them. In this valve stem, there's still some sodium in there. On the drill bit, we think there's some right there because we were using that to dig it out. And then there's just a little bit on the tip here. So we're just gonna throw these in the water and then we're gonna cover it with a face shield. Not much happening there. I'm gonna try flipping this so we can get water in it. Not much of a reaction there. This valve stem here is the one that's still full of sodium, so we're definitely going to get more of a reaction with this one. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this in the water and then just cover it with the face shield. Just saw just a little bit there. Still kind of hissing, but there's not too much going on. So if we move the water a little bit, not much happens. Seems like the reaction has kind of died down. So it was kind of cool to see the sodium in the valves and kind of, I've never seen it before. I didn't know that, that is really a common thing to do in cars, but it definitely helps with the cooling of the valve is a big difference. Now, if you take like a valve from a semi truck that's filled with sodium, there's definitely a big difference there. You'll see it kind of, uh, that one will definitely explode. But this reaction wasn't too crazy, but it was still kind of cool to see. So I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.